Missouri Senator Thomas Eagleton withdraws as Democratic presidential candidate George McGovern's running mate. The move follows the disclosure that Eagleton had been hospitalized for psychiatric treatment in the 1960s and twice received electroshock treatment for depression. My personal feelings are secondary to the necessity to unify the Democratic Party and to elect George McGovern as the next president of the United States. McGovern taps Sergeant Shriver to replace Eagleton on the Democratic ticket. That fall, they lose to President Richard Nixon in a landslide. As for that VP talk all the time, I tell you, I still can't answer that question until, until somebody answers for me. What is it exactly that the VP does every day? I'm used to uh, being very productive and working real hard and in administration. We want to make sure that that VP slot would be a, a fruitful type of position, especially for Alaskans and for the things that we're trying to accomplish up here for the rest of the U.S. before I can even start addressing that, uh, that question. Well, I worked in the White House during President Reagan's first term. Let me assure you, and I've spent a lot of time in the Bush White House as a journalist in meetings with interviews, it's a pretty big job, Madam Governor. It's a real big job. You'd be surprised how big the Veep job is these days. Well, this is a pretty cool job here, too, though, as Governor of Alaska. Well, it's common knowledge and has been reported in the media that uh, the, that al-Qaeda is going back into Iran and receiving training and are coming back into Iraq from Iran. That's, that's well known uh, and it's unfortunate. Um, so I believe that we are succeeding in Iraq. Uh, the situation is dramatically improved, but I also want to emphasize time and again al-Qaeda is on the run, but they are not defeated. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, the Iranians are, are training extremists, not Al-Qaeda, not Al-Qaeda, I'm sorry.